Welcome back. Today I'm going to be installing a system called ArchX. Obviously it's an Arch based uh, distribution here. So uh, I've got it here on the virtual machine and I'm going to run through the installer and see what installer it uses. So in my search, I'm going to just type in install and I get a install ArchX. And it looks like it's going to be the uh, Calamari's installer, but we will soon see. Okay, I need to find out what the password is because these guys. I don't think they set it up correctly. Well, let me try root first before I go any further. Huh, that one did work. All right, so yeah, it is called a Mars installer. So uh, I got a login screen when I first booted the CD up and the password for that was uh, live. So I kept trying live here and obviously you can see uh, that didn't work. So root was the password. So I'll just click on X. Next, next, erase this, next, user info, and I'm pretty much done. So I'm not going to bore you with the rest of this, uh, I'll see you on the desktop once it's completed. Okay, so I think the system is already finished installing, but uh, before I get into that, I want to look at their website. Uh, I can see right here that uh, they have a SourceForge page, and it just talks about the installer and USB installation and you know benefits of uh, ArchX Linux. So uh, the only real info that you can find on these is just how to install ArchX on a USB stick and things like that. They have no uh, like full-on blown uh, website. Well, at least none that I could find, but uh, you know what? Let me uh, let me edit this uh, URL and see what it actually opens up. Yeah, this is pretty much a uh, well. At least you do get an about right here. So we have an about Exxon Linux Live Systems in English. Almost all Exxon Linux distributions are hosted by the Swedish Linux Society. And more about Exton Linux. So this is Exton, but ArchX. I guess ArchX is part of Exton. I'm going to assume that because I see a lot of info about our edge, ArchX. This is the version that I downloaded here, ArchX 2024, the KDE Plasma version. So, uh, all right. We'll just uh, roll with this and uh, check it out. So uh, right here, the installer is done. So I'll just click on the done and it'll reboot into ArchX. And here we are rebooted. Uh, I put it into auto login, but uh, still asking for a password. So we'll just comply, give it to it. And I'm going to assume that I'm going to have to fix the resolution as soon as we log in, but we'll see right now. Okay, got a couple messages here. One is about uh, notify send. And then we have our welcome to KDE Plasma. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do is fix the display. It's one of those things that irks me. It's how they don't... Uh, have this fix out the gate, but easy fix. And keep and close that down. And I can bring this back to the middle. And welcome to KDE Plasma. So this is your welcome screen for KDE Plasma. Uh, set by default, let you know about the system settings. Powerful when needed. Manage software. Sure, none of us uses information. Nope. 
and connect your online accounts. Nope. Get involved, start contributing, support your freedom, make a donation. And that's it. That's your welcome for uh, KDE Plasma. Doesn't matter what uh, system you're on. If you use Plasma, you have that option to set up the welcome screen for Plasma. All right, so yeah, this is KDE Plasma on Linux. So we have their uh, panel on the bottom, system tray on the right, pinned applications on the left, and your application launcher. So clicking on the application launcher here, you have your standard laid out. So you got the uh, favorites, all applications, development, graphics, internet, multimedia, settings, system, utilities, and something called lost and found. Then you have your uh, session manager down here. So you can log out, restart, log out, sleep. Then you have our folders and applications. And then you have a search. All right. So that's your application launcher. So let's take a look at our uh, pinned applications. First one is Firefox. And on the about, we have it as 121.0 being the latest. And then our file manager should be Dolphin. And it's not, it's PC Man FM. This is what I love, being surprised. And then uh, the software store is Discover. Uh, Discover currently cannot be used to install any apps or perform system updates because none of its app backends are available. So I'm wondering if this has something to do with an Arch, because this is an Arch based system. Is that why it's a. Uh, not working and discover 5.27.10 then we have our settings uh system settings so from here you can do everything on your system uh you can get about the system get your information and then uh it still has a button here for software updates but uh i don't think you can do anything because this is connected to discover and it's not going to work but you can also do your theming in here. So if you want to change to, let's say, uh, right now it's on Breeze. If you want to use Breeze Dark, click Apply. I'm going to do Breeze Twilight. I'm going to do Oxygen. Me, I'll just put it on Breeze Dark. I'm good with that. And you can also change other things right here. So you got your application style, plasma style, colors, window decorations, fonts, icons, cursors, font managers, and splash screens. Then uh, you have your not notification settings, your workspace, your network, hardware, system administration. It's a lot you can do with uh, system settings. So system settings version 5.27.10. And we see a terminal. Let's search. Should have console. We we don't. We have LX and Q terminal. Huh. And on the about we get LX terminal 0 0.4.0, which is my favorite terminal. Apps that you think they would. They throw a twist on you. But uh let's see if we got uh so Pac-Man. First, I'm going to do a SY. See if this works. And if it does, then I should be able to check for uh, H-type and all that. No, sudo Pac-Man. See, H-type, NeoFetch. Going straight into installation. All right, so that worked. And we do a H top, and we can see right here, running one gig memory, and your load averages 0 0.44, 0 0.62, and 0 0.32. And on Neo Fetch, ArchX KDE. 
kernel we're using, 6.6.9. This type of environment is plasma. And the terminal, the LX terminal. All right, let's see what other applications they have here that can be useful. And let's see, in development, we have a QT Assistant, Graphics, we got GIMP, Image Viewer, LX Image, and Screen Grab on the internet. We got Firefox and your SSH clients, Multimedia, we have MPV, VLC, Settings, we have our regular settings. We even have open box settings. So, hmm, must be some open box into the system. Then we have our system. Let's look, take a look at the info center. So, this basically just gives us the info about the uh, plasma itself. And it's letting us know that it's using Arch Linux. But it also has a system monitor. So, here's a graphical system monitor to give you a memory, disk, and CPU. And if you had an energy set up, then it will show up here. All right, it's a pretty standard uh, system. It's called ArchX. It's a Arch uh, based Linux distro, Plasma desktop, but it's not your standard Plasma. It has a lot of uh, other uh, desktop environments or window managers uh, blended into it. All right, but uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Just wanna take a quick look at ArchX Linux and uh, Seems pretty good. Everything works, so it's all good. I'll have the uh, download link in the video description. All right, you guys, and I'm out.